we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring together the various things that we've been working on in this section of our class. So as you may have recalled, we made it an animation of a bouncing ball that then transforms into a square. We also made a couple of animations of a starburst with lines and we had a circle burst like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine some of these together to make this animation a little bit more dynamic. When the element reaches the pinnacle after its first and second bounce, I want to have a little bit of a explosion happen or a starburst type of effect. So I'm going to use the starburst animation that we created earlier. You can go ahead and you can incorporate multiple compositions into other compositions very easily in After Effects. All you need to do is basically treat them just as you would any other element. I'll go ahead and open up my composition folder and I'm going to grab my starburst. I'm going to drag this into my timeline of animation 2, which is simply a copy of animation 1. And as you can see, it just adds the starburst element to the animation. So if we play through, here's our starburst. And I put this behind the circle and the square, so you will see that it just plays like so. Now, the starburst animation came in at the length of its composition. Because we had the starburst effect happen in a relatively short amount of time, I don't need this particular composition to be quite so long. So once again, with this layer selected and my playback head at the position where I want to cut this, I'm going to use Command or Control Shift D. Then I can go ahead and select the upper starburst, the duplicate copy, and just delete that. I'm left with just the starburst element. This is the location of where the ball or the circle is at its pinnacle after the first bounce. I'm going to grab the starburst composition and I'm going to drag it so that it is going to occur behind the ball. In addition, I may need to raise it up a little bit because you can see if I play this, the starburst is going to kind of appear behind it. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to raise this element up slightly. And I can do that by selecting the starburst layer, clicking P for position, and then I can go ahead and augment the Y location and bring it up. If you want to adjust the X location, you can do that as well. If we go ahead and preview this, you can see that the starburst is going to occur. Now, because the ball is moving, the starburst is going to kind of appear to fall away. So ultimately, I would like the starburst composition to be a little bit faster. We can go ahead and we can edit a nested composition. If we simply double click, it's going to take us into that particular composition. So I already have the starburst composition open, but here I am. I'm going to click U to open up all of the keyframes and I'm just going to shorten this composition up. So in order to do that, I'm going to grab my ending keyframes and I'll just drag them to the left a little bit. So maybe we'll have this happen in about one second. And now if we play the animation, it's going to play much more quickly. At this point, if we return back to animation two and we preview, you're going to see that the starburst is going to happen at a much quicker rate. So I feel that that looks a little bit better. I like the timing of that much better. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of opacity to the overall composition. So with the starburst layer selected, I'm going to go ahead and click T for opacity. And we're going to turn on keyframing. We'll go ahead and we'll drop down the opacity to about 20%. Then I'm going to move my playback head out to right about here, and we're going to up the opacity to 100%. And then I'm going to move my playback head to right about here, right before the elements kind of disappear and dissipate, and we'll drop the opacity down to zero. If we play this now, you can see that it just adds a little starburst type of effect at this point in time, which is exactly what I wanted to have happen. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to duplicate this and have it appear when the square is going to reach its pinnacle of height, which is right about here. Once again, I'm just going to copy and paste or duplicate this layer. We'll grab out the starburst and bring it forward in time. I'm going to place it at the appropriate location. And if necessary, I'll click P to open position and I can adjust the position of the starburst so that it is at the right place. And that looks pretty good. So let's just play our animation in its entirety. The ball bounces, it has its little starburst, and then it's gonna happen again. And we can go ahead and add multiple starbursts, right? If I wanted to have two happen here, I could select this one, and I'm just going to use Command or Control D to make a copy. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open the property of rotation, and we'll just rotate this to offset it slightly. I'm going to go ahead and hit scaling, and we're gonna scale this one down a little bit. So maybe it's not quite as large. And if we play the animation, you'll notice that now we have two little starburst rays that are going to appear. And so if I wanna do the same sort of thing at the square, all I have to do is select this particular layer, Command or Control D, and then once again, we're gonna click R for rotation. We'll rotate this slightly. We'll click S for scaling. And this time, let's scale this out a little bit. And now if we play the entire animation, you will see that the ball is gonna bounce. It's gonna have its little starburst, and then it's gonna do it again. As you can see, After Effects has a ton of stuff. We're just barely scratching the surface. And in the next few weeks, you're gonna learn a lot of other exciting things that you can do with After Effects. But hopefully this gives you a good idea of how you can create animations and combine simple elements to actually create something that is a little bit more sophisticated using this exciting program.